When a long dormant volcano in Alaska started showing new signs of activity last year, scientists used new technologies to quickly analyze large amounts of data. Nobody knew what was going on, and we were able within a couple of days uh, to do uh, an analysis of almost eight years of data that would previously have taken weeks to months. This new technology allowed the Alaska Volcano Observatory to conclude more quickly that the unusual activity at Mount Edgecombe did not pose an immediate risk. But they have installed new seismic instruments on the mountain to better monitor its activity. Most volcano observation uses satellites to measure how the ground around volcanoes is moving. That data is then transferred to local servers and downloaded for analysis. But those large files can take a long time to download and analyze. The new system allows volcano observers to store and analyze that data in the cloud. This saves time in transporting the data and provides faster volcano updates with better computer modeling to improve eruption prediction. That's especially important in Alaska, says geophysicist Max Enders. I think in a lot of ways, we're almost always at the forefront of a lot of this technology. We have a lot of active volcanoes that are that are erupting quite frequently that we have to, to monitor. And people worldwide will come to Alaska to study volcanoes because there's, there's so much opportunity to, to study active volcanoes here. The Alaska Volcano Observatory originally developed its cloud-based system to better handle both the growing amount of data it was receiving from improved technology and new partnerships with other observatories and space agencies. Automating the processing of volcanic data makes everyone safer, says geophysicist Michael Poland. That's getting us towards this, this vision of sort of a, an international, global, virtual observatory that's capable of serving out data and, and analyzing results sort of in an automated and real-time basis. And uh, that's going to really level the playing field. Innovation in volcano observation doesn't stop with cloud-based technology, says Poland. Artificial intelligence will soon play an increasingly important role. In the last few decades, um, we went from being very data poor to being pretty data rich. We need to develop new approaches for having kind of automated alarms, look at the data for us and pull out anything that the alarm system might think, you know, something's funny here. Some of the, the groups in the UK have deployed it on some of these data sets and they have identified anomalous uh, deformation in some of these images. So they may have an archive of 10,000 images, and in that 10,000, they identified 100 that were worthy of closer look. It's a lot easier to look at 100 and throw out 50 and find 50 that are that are showing you something than it is to look at, you know, 100,000 images. And scientists hope that with faster analysis, they can produce earlier and more accurate warnings for people to evacuate when a volcano is about to blow its top. Phil Dierking, VOA News, Seattle.